Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update all your apps plus any software updates for your Mac OS. So first of all, up here on the top left hand corner, you guys will see this app logo. Just click on it. And right here, you guys will see system preferences. That's where your software updates will be at for now on. And then you have your app store. Now back in Sierra and High Sierra, it's all under the app store. Right now, with the newest OS, it's in both, okay? So right here, App Store, that takes care of all your apps. System preferences, it's to do more with your Mac OS. All right, so just some software updates that it needs. And so depending what you guys need, you guys would go into this one or this one. Do not turn on any automatic updates, by the way, because that is very dangerous. So if you guys don't see any updates there, so let's just click on the App Store, for example. So it might not even tell you right away that there's an update. Right here, it told me that was an update, right? So let's say it didn't tell me. However, right here in the very last thing, you guys should see updates, all right? So that's your, your very last option. Now, um, if there's a specific update I'm looking for, so for example, let's say I don't see my Final Cut Pro update here, I can just go into here and search and search for that particular app. In this case, again, I'm just gonna look for Final Cut Pro. Okay, and here you go. If there's an update for it, you guys will see update. If there's still a problem, you guys don't see update right there. Just make sure to go up here. You guys can see store and then go into your Apple ID. Um, you guys can sign out from it. That's your very last option and then sign back in. All right. If you guys still don't see any updates for your apps in there, don't worry about it. It might be just the app that's a little bit different. For example, with Adobe CC, you guys would have to access Adobe Creative Cloud in order to update that. And that's usually an icon that pops up here that you guys will see Adobe CC up here. You guys can click on it and then update your app. For other apps, I've seen that if you click on the app itself, so let's say Safari is my app that I want to update, although that will always come in in my app store. Let's say that's just another app. You guys will be clicking on the name itself of the app right here on the top left hand side and you guys should see something to do with updates here. So it might tell you check for latest updates or something like that within this. All right. And that's usually on the app itself on the app name, but not on file or edit or any other one. Um, I have seen some apps where the updates come in when you go into window, you guys will see updates in here. Okay, and that's with some very few apps. For most of you, all your apps will come from the App Store. Okay, if you guys are looking for software updates, right here on your Apple logo, you guys again will see system preferences, update. And then we're going to see that this will check for the latest and whatever we got we need at the moment. If this keeps loading, 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 just check your internet if you're all good. Right now, I just have this update for my Mac, for example, I can just click on update now. Now, see this down here where it says automatically keep my Mac up to date. Do not do it. And that's because if you do that, there might be updates that you don't want. Sometimes updates can screw up anything <laughs> really, um, even when you're doing an app update, if you don't know what's going on with that update, if the update's good, it might screw up your project or you might be in the middle of something and then you guys can't open up your files anymore because the update that just happened. So at least if you guys don't have this turned on, which it isn't right now, it would be if I had a check mark on it. So you guys just have to click on it in order to have those automatic updates going on. Um, but yeah, just don't do it. Okay, just avoid that. And here again, you guys would see any software updates that have to do with your Mac OS. In this case, it has to do with all these things. All right, so it's just video formats that need to be applied here. Anyways, those are the two main things that you have to update. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.